Hello friend, I want to welcome you to HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com and I want to especially welcome you to Recording and Studio One version 6 Made Easy. My name is David Vignola with HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com but you already know that because you're here because you purchased the Recording and Studio One Made Easy for version 6 course and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and also for purchasing the course I know you're really going to love this so I want to spend just a couple of minutes here in this introduction telling you what we're going to do in this course what we're about to embark on together um, and I'm going to get you up and running in studio one with absolutely no fuss and no muss, I promise. So first and foremost, this new course is for the latest release of Studio One, which is version six. Now, keep in mind that even if you purchase this course and you have say version five, or even version four of Studio One, this course will work for you from a beginner's perspective because the, the differences between those three versions from a beginner's perspective, pretty minor. The look of the screen and such is slightly different, but you can use this course for version four, version five, version six, and even in the future version seven, this will help all of my beginners. Also, this course will work whether you're using PreSonus Studio One Artist, PreSonus Studio One Professional, or even if you're a PreSonus Sphere member, you have PreSonus Studio One Professional, and that'll work with that as well. And even if you have the free trial Prime version of Studio One, a lot of the things we're gonna talk about today will still get you up and running. And I will, during the course of this training, I will um, tell you the differences between the three versions as it comes up. But have no fear, regardless of what version of Studio One you have, or whether it's prime art, it's professional, you're gonna learn a lot. So what are we gonna do in this course? Well, we're gonna do very, very basic stuff, okay? You got Studio One, obviously, you probably picked up an audio interface, and a lot of you probably picked up a pre audio interface, something such as this. This is the Studio 24C, it's a little two-channel PreSonus audio interface, and you probably got a bundled software with either this PreSonus interface or maybe the audio box or maybe one of their other interfaces, or maybe you have a different uh, unit other than PreSonus. Maybe you have a Focusrite or a Motu. Any kind of a small interface like this is gonna be exactly the same, so you're not gonna have a problem. We're gonna show you how to hook up this audio interface to Studio One. We're gonna show you how to properly get Studio One downloaded with all the extra goodies and installed on your computer. And then I'm gonna take you through the very basics of recording. We're gonna talk about how to record an electric guitar, for example, with proper recording techniques. No extra thing, uh, software needed. We're gonna do everything that's, in, we're gonna use everything that's included in Studio One. I'm gonna teach you how to record an acoustic guitar, how to record a bass guitar, a couple of different ways you can use drums uh, in Studio One, whether it's with loops or third-party software programs, or even if you wanted to kind of program your own drums with some kind of a MIDI controller such as the PreSonus Atom here. We're gonna take a look at this a little bit as well. I'm gonna show you how to hook this up with Studio One, as well as a little MIDI keyboard. So I'm gonna take you through how you record different types of instruments, how you get things hooked up in Studio One, to give you just the basic foundation of how to get good, solid recording into Studio One, how to export your song when you've created your song, and I'm gonna show you some tips tricks and some workflow things around Studio One as we go. So if you're an absolute beginner, this is gonna be perfect for you and that's what this course and who this course is geared towards. This is not a songwriting course. It is not an intermediate or an advanced recording techniques course. We're not gonna go over every single recording feature in Studio One because this course would be probably 30 hours long. And for most beginners, you want to start really, really simple because I realize that when you first do this for the first time and you have a new piece of software and a new audio interface or you're working in digital computer recording for the first time, it can be overwhelming. The good news, it's really not that difficult. It's kind of easy. And I'm going to take you step by step through this course. So by the end of this course, what are you going to be able to do? You're going to be able to install the software with all the extra downloads to make sure you know where everything is located on your computer. I'm going to, you're going to know how to set up a recording session, how to record the basic instruments, how to set proper recording levels, how to hook up your audio interface, how to get your sounds into Studio One. And then you're going to learn how to export that song and do a little bit of mixing so you can share your musical masterpiece with the world. That's what we're gonna do in this course. So sit back, relax. I highly encourage you to maybe get yourself a notepad and take some notes, whether it's with good old pad and pen or with an electronic document of some kind. 
This course will also be, I think, will serve as a more of a reference tool for you that you may want to watch several times as if you are brand new to recording and brand new to using Studio One. Now, last thing we'll say, and then we'll get on with the course. Once you've done some recording and you're going to be ready to mix your music, I highly recommend that you take a look at my Mixing in Studio One course. There'll be a separate course image that'll come up on the screen here. You can get that at homerecordingmadeeasy.com. That'll teach you the basic foundation and the basic fundamentals of getting really great sounding mixes only using the software and the plugins that come along with your version of Studio One. So you want to check out Mixing in Studio One Made Easy. Also, although we're going to go through a lot of the basic startup functions here in this course, if you really want to learn how to navigate around Studio One, you want to learn about what all the different tools do, all the different screens do, all the different buttons do on each screen, you may want to check out my PreSonus Studio One Beginner's Guide as well. That is really just showing you from the time you open Studio One how to navigate and work around Studio One really, really easily. Now, we're going to do some of that in this course as it pertains to recording but the PreSonus Beginner's Guide really goes in a lot more detail to help you feel more comfortable just working around and navigating through Studio One. So between the PreSonus Studio One Beginner's Guide, mixing in Studio One, and now this course, recording in Studio One, you'll have everything you need to not only record great sounding music, mix great sounding music, and feel comfortable and confident working inside of PreSonus Studio One, especially Studio One version six. So once again, I've been Dave. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to working with you throughout this course. So get yourself a cool drink, get yourself some way of taking some notes and come on back for the next section. And we're gonna start to jump into looking at how we get everything installed on our computer, Studio One. I'll see you in the next one.